Hi designers, what if I told you that you could animate the surface of this box, not shooting and editing later, right here, right now. <laughs> so good. This is done by using just a projector right there. Not only that, I can also talk from here. To understand how, let's first break down the science of what is making this box visible to my eyes, your eyes or the camera. Simple. Lights coming out of the source, hitting it on the surface and reflecting into our eyes, making it visible. What if we could manipulate the light from source and lay over the surface like a manipulated light, maybe also known as visuals, and make it look alive, create optical illusion for the people watching it. Blending art and science, this technology is called projection mapping. Wait a minute, what just happened? We're gonna learn that just in a minute. Projection mapping is a projection technology which uses a projector, generally high-powered ones, to lay over a custom-made image or a video on the surface of a real-life object creating optical illusion. Taking it further, imagine creating a 3D model of a 3D physical object or structure, laying that 3D model accurately on the structure of the real world and that is called 3D projection mapping. In the later part of this video, we will learn about few amazing tools and softwares which will let you do projection mapping like a snap. If you like this video, hit a like and follow along. To simplify, let's say I have some box arranged beside me. Let's take a photo of this. Now, let's edit this image in the computer with an image or video manipulation software. We are gonna use Adobe After Effects for this demonstration. Let's say we change the color of few boxes and make few lines that animates beautifully. An important note, this phase is called production. The more time and money you spend behind production, the better output you get. Let's connect the projector and project the photo at the box and try to cover it full. Let's project our manipulated image or video on the box. Now we use a projection mapping software to fix the edges by bending and shifting. We're gonna talk about few softwares in a minute. Now let's check out what other illusions we can make out of these simple boxes. Okay, so projection mapping is cool, but who started the fire? Projection mapping, though the word is relatively new, but it started way back. In 1969, Disneyland, the place known as Universe of Imagination, started an experience called Haunted Mansion and introduced a special effect called Madame Loiter effect. And then everything started happening super fast. The first large-scale projection mapping event took place in 2008 in Prague's historic astronomical clock, astonishing audiences with the dynamic visual. The Roper's Dance Troupe showcased their projection mapping performance at the Olympic closing ceremony in 2012, making it a significant milestone bringing the art form to global audiences. The incredible box projection mapping video in 2012 by Martin Dolly wowed views using robotic arms to manipulate screen in real time blending physics and arts and projectors. It's a Small World by Disney, a ride in California Disneyland started using projection mapping to enhance the experience by immersing riders in colorful visuals in 2015. In 2016, French artist Miguel Chevalier used projection mapping to create a digital carpet that reacted to people's movement, taking interactive art to a new level. The famous Sydney Opera House became a canvas of spectacular lighting shows during the Vivid Sydney Festival, drawing millions of visitors from all over the world. Projection mapping played a pivotal role in the opening ceremony of 2018's Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea, stunning audiences with a fusion of live performances and digital effects. Companies like Panasonic and Christie developed advanced projection mapping technologies offering higher resolution and more 
precise mapping capabilities. The architectural mapping show Cathedral of Light in 2020 illuminated European cathedrals to raise spirits during the COVID-19 pandemic, showcasing the power of projection mapping in times of adversity. The world's largest projection mapping installation was unveiled on the facade of Beijing Wang Commercial Complex, of course in China, covering an astonishing 19,000 square meters. The nighttime lights of Hogwarts Castle in Universal Studio Wizarding World of Harry Potter uses a projection mapping to immerse visitors in the magic of Wizarding World. The Dubai Fountain, one of the world's largest choreographed fountain, combines water, light and projection mapping to create a breathtaking audio-visual performances and it continues projection mapping everywhere all the big experiences the boundaries of projection mapping continue to be pushed with the ai driven software now allowing for real-time adaptation and interaction blurring the line between imagination and reality if you want to check out some crazy projection mapping shows happen in bangladesh check out the link given in the description below now we know how projection mapping is happening and where it's happening how long it's been happening now let's check out some software and tools that you can use to do projection mapping some are free some you can try some you just have to buy mad mapper I put MadMapper in the first of the list because it's my personal favorite. In short, MadMapper is an amazing projection mapping software which allows you to create stunning projection mapping shows and installations. Very swift, robust and ability to cooperate makes MadMapper super awesome. By the end of this video, we are going to talk about MadMapper. Resolume Arena Resolume, specifically its full edition Arena, has some mind-blowing projection mapping capabilities. Resolume is already a rock-solid visual performance software in the industry. And with the advanced output feature, Resolume just gets a real deal. And a super integrated third-party doorway lets Resolume Arena have the best of the minds, making mind-blowing plugins like Chaser, Stageflow and many more. This channel already has a tons of Resolume videos already. If you are new, don't forget to grab a coffee or whatever your thing is and check them out after you watch this video of course. Now let's get back to more projection mapping softwares out there. Heavy M Heavy M is like a creative playground for projection mapping, offering user-friendly features like drag and drop mapping and a library of pre-made effects. It's not just about looking cool, you can sync projectors with lights and music, plus edit things on the fly. Arcos Grand VJ well, the history say they are the grandpa of live visual softwares. Arcos Grand VJ is like your digital paintbrush for projection mapping, letting you create mind-bending visuals with ease. It's not just for the tech savvy. This software is a playground for anyone with a creative hunch. Imagine seamlessly mixing videos, adding effects and transforming any surface into a canvas of awesomeness. Touch Designer to start, Touch Designer is free for non-commercial use. So, hurry up. Touch Designer is a node-based, super ultra-customizable software which runs smooth and you can make anything and everything using MIDI controllers and Kinects and sensors and show your thing into LEDs, projectors or any kind of displays. These guys. Okay, this guys is a big gun in the world of mapping. First off, it's about real-time 3D visualization. You can see your masterpiece come alive right in front of your eyes. Plus, it's like a conductor for your visual and effects, coordinating everything with its perfect precision. Collaborations, check. Multiple users can jam together seamlessly. And the cherry on top, it's not just for one screen. You can map out an entire stadium if you want. Watch out. Speaking of big guns, how can we miss the bazooka called watch out? If you're talking about big, means really big, means really really big, you mean watch out. Watch out had been historically there for significant number of largest projection mapping shows in the world. It's so much expandable and customizable. Probably that's what made them such a huge software for all these years and a network of watch out certified users across the world. By the way, I haven't started making any watch out videos in this channel. But let me know in the comment below if you want me to make some watch out videos in this channel. So the list of projection mapping softwares are ever expanding. Yet there are few softwares which must be mentioned on this topic. Visual Mapio, Isodora, Milumin, Vioso, 
Qlab. As mentioned earlier in this video, I have something to talk to you guys about MadMapper. So I'm planning to start MadMapper tutorial series on this channel on a regular basis. If you want to know about MadMapper, check out this video. And if you want to learn a cool trick using Resolume, click here. See you next time.